Hey everybody. So I just got a new package today in the mail. Uh, pretty sure it's from Tor. It doesn't say that, but given the size and the heft of it and the name they put on it, it pretty sure it's that. And for me, so we're gonna open it up. I've got a good idea what it is. Okay. It's, yeah. Um, I learned my lesson a long time ago. Always at least cut these open first before you unbox. And uh, uh, yeah. It is the official paperback, trade paperback, uh, for the first binding that's coming out in stores September fifth. It's the first week of September. That's all. That's all I remember. I know that um, if you're going to Dragon Con, copies are going to be available there with the missing volume bookstore, probably other local bookstores as well, because uh, the book's not embargoed, which is when, like, if you're Stephen King or something, they hold back every copy uh, from bookstores, telling them like you can't sell them early or have them up on shelves because they want to make sure it hits, you know, whatever spot in the list. And super big famous authors get that. But um, yeah, I'm super excited. The book's probably already out on some shelves, I swear, already. But if you've been interested and you wanted the trade paperback, it's now technically out or going to be out soon enough. You can pick it up at any bookstore. Um, ugh. This is something else that happened earlier this year with the book that I didn't, can't remember to do a video about, but um, pretty cool that. Oh, that's just reflecting everything. I just might, but the first binding won uh, Best Novel of the Webster Award uh, from RavenCon earlier this year. So thank you for everybody who helped make that happen, for everybody who's been buying the book, supporting it, checking it out, loving it, recommending it, uh, all the reviewers and everything. It's It's been pretty cool so far. I um, guess might as well give an update on book two. I turned in book two, the original draft, last summer because uh, I've gotten hit with the you know inevitable when's it coming out. And since then, it's kind of been out of my control. Um... Some things I probably can talk about. Everyone knows there's a paper and print crisis going on, which has delayed things. The original draft of the book was 450,000 words, and because of the paper and print cost, there's a lot of cutting it down because of cost, uh, which has taken up time. And my editor, my original editor, was let go from tour this January, so there was a whole gap with that. Um, got a new editor, but there's been so many delays, not on my end which has been responsible for this, which really sucks because believe me, I want book two to already be out because I get paid um, on publication. So parts of my advance. So the longer it takes, the the not as great stuff for me financially as it is. But uh, it looks like we're on the last legs of that. So hopefully that gets in and books out next August, I believe is what they're hoping for. And then I can just get cracking on book three because I've just been sitting here jotting and doodling notes so I can hurry up and get through that process and wrap up the first three books and then we'll see what happens with uh four five and six and everything from there but yeah um trade paperbacks are pretty much ready and be up on shelves and go out and I want to thank everybody for supporting the series because it's been doing really well we've i don't know when my next royalty statement comes in but i've gotten a look at one which covered the period from last august to december and the book did phenomenal especially in hardcover because of the hardcover sales um it stumped my publishers because the hardcover has been outselling every other format by a marked degree that they're not used to like there should be closer i guess percentages between all three formats at the time which was the hardcover the audiobook and ebook and the hardcover just overshot everything so I definitely want to take a moment to thank everybody for that um i've seen a lot of people who've commented on just how beautiful and pretty the book is which it definitely is i personally think book two's cover is going to be better based on early drafts that i did myself with my cover artist and I know Tor's taking those into considerations. I haven't seen uh, what they're gonna do with the final cover, but I know they're looking very closely at the, the mock-ups I personally sent. So if it follows that and ends up like book ones, I think book twos will be even prettier. So yeah, um, I'll definitely share all that as I get more um, in my Discord, in my Facebook groups, and then eventually probably do some kind of reveal on Twitter and Instagram. But yeah, thank you everybody. Just wanted to share all that and hopefully I'll see some of you at Dragon Con where I will be doing multiple signings. Um, I'll share my schedule again publicly. I've got three, one on the Urban Fantasy track, two in the America's Mart on the first floor with uh, the Missing Volume Bookstore, which will be Saturday and one Monday. I do know there's one Monday. I just forgot the first one, but that's up on my Twitter, and I'll reshare all that as we get closer to it. So, yeah. Thanks, everybody.